after that, we had a great match between Chris Jericho and Neville on Raw, which I thought as good of a match as it was from Jericho. Much more a breakout performance from Neville is what I thought this match really accomplished. Just between his match with Kevin Owens last week and the match with Jericho this week, really showing how underrated this guy really is in the ring. I mean, that's pretty much been known for a while how amazing of a wrestler Neville is, but I feel like it doesn't get talked about enough just because he's so goddamn good. And I know we talked about it maybe a year and a half ago, almost two years ago here on the show with RJ. There was a clip on the channel if you go, if you dig you know, deep enough to find it. Like I said, it's probably from late 2014, early 2015. As far as whether Neville would have a ceiling in terms of how far he could go on the main roster due to his small size. And they'll probably you know, throw him in the Cruiserweight division. I hope they don't. I hope they relegate the Cruiserweight division for guys from the Cruiserweight class because Neville is so much better than that. I know I would probably put the Cruiserweight championship on him. I've been a big proponent of that in the past when people have talked about it and asked me about it on hashtag AskGSM and stuff like that. But after last week in the match with Owens and the match this week with Chris Jericho, the guy is just really, really good and another reminder why they should be doing more with him. I have no idea why he's not in the U.S. Championship picture right now. Unless they continue Reigns and Rusev, which is fine. I would love to see Neville be the one to beat Rusev. Um, and maybe it's not believable. Neville's a small guy, but Rusev is not exactly Brock Lesnar, but he is a dominant force. I would still love to see Neville be the one to beat Rusev. And let's talk about this match for a second, because these two have had matches before. They have some history. Neville and Jericho first faced off at Beast in the East last July in Japan, that great WWE Network special, and had an amazing match there. They had a rematch <clears throat> They had a rematch many months later that I had high hopes for on Raw in March of this year, right before WrestleMania. Um, I think because Neville was going to be in the IC, uh, IC Championship ladder match or whatever with... Uh, Miz and Ziggler, Owen, Zayn, all those guys. And then he got hurt in that match with Jericho. So I thought it was a bit weird. I thought it was a big missed opportunity here for Jericho to not take credit for the, being the one that injured Neville in that match earlier this year. I thought that could have been really the, you know, the the foundation for a feud between these two. And they could still feud, and I really hope they do. Because now that I think about it, now that, I think about it, now that Kevin Owens is the new WWE Universal Champion... What is Jericho going to do? Maybe he inter, you know, involves or gets involved or interferes in his defense of the Clash of Champions pay-per-view, which is entirely possible, but he could still do that even if he has another match on the show. And I would love to see Jericho and Neville have you know, more matches. And Jericho won clean here, so I don't know what the purpose would be in a rematch. It's not like he cheated the win. At least I don't think so. Um, but again, going back to the match back in March, though, I was a bit disappointed just because it was barely getting into, the na into that next gear before Neville got abruptly injured. So I'm thinking, shit, like I was really hoping for a great match, but we got that great match on this show. And I thought it was exceptional. Like, these two work really, really well together, which should come as no surprise due to Neville's small size. And Jericho has always worked better um, with people that are smaller than him. People like Daniel Bryan, Neville, and so many others. And uh, I thought this was another really excellent match between the two. Easily their best bout to date. Uh, Jericho has been just killing it this run. And he's not only putting people over, but he's also... I mean, he put over Roman Reigns last week, but he's picking up his fair share of victories, too. I mean, he's beaten... Sami Zayn a number of times, he's beaten AJ Styles on a number of occasions as well, he beat Neville, he beat Cesaro a few, on a few occasions too, so the guy has victories, he has, you know, he's not just putting over people every single match that he has this run, he's not losing every match that he's involved in, which is cool, um, but I think it's great, so he had a really, really good match with Neville here, but like I said, at the end of the day, I th this was more so a breakout performance for Neville than anything else. And really, I hope it was an eye-opening performance to the point where WWE officials recognize what they have in this guy and they don't continue to waste him. I wrote an article maybe about a month or so ago when Neville first came back um, about how he was really kind of the Evan Bourne, the new version of Evan Bourne, and that he's kind of known for the flippity doo dies who Jericho also had a lot of great matches with back in the day about five, six years ago. But... Evan Bourne was mostly relegated to undercard stuff, not really having full-fledged feuds. He would pick up a win here and there, a lot like Neville. But more often than not, they never really did much with him. And they finally gave him his big break as tag team champion with Kofi Kingston, but he fucked up and got suspended after doing pot and whatever. Synthetic weed or whatever the hell it was. He got busted twice. He got suspended twice. It fucked over Kofi for a while, too. But anyway, though, um, I think that Neville is better than that. And Matt Seidel is a great performer, too, and they really wasted him um, during his time with the company. So I hope the same thing doesn't happen to Neville just because he's a really good wrestler. And after the matches with Kevin Owens last week and the match with Jericho this week, that they realize what they have in this guy and they start pushing him ASAP.